This shrimp has the fastest strike of any creature on Earth. No wonder you want one in your aquarium. We feed it with our seahorses, we feed it with our uh, um, flounder, um, any of our tropical reef fish, uh, our live re uh, coral reefs, we, we do it for a variety of reasons. Our quarantine especially, um, we know it's healthy, we know it's safe for the animals, so it's a good transition. If they do come in feeding live, we can get them over to PE mysis. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast, and this is Winnie. She is a schnauzer puppy, the latest foster here in the Carlin household, and she just loves to help me do FinCast, don't you, Winnie? Yes, such a good puppy. Okay, well, she is an absolute sweetheart. I gotta tell you, we're loving this puppy. Not so sweet is the mantis shrimp, which is famous for that lightning-fast strike and its alleged ability to break the aquarium glass. I had the chance to get video of this big one on display. This was at the 2015 Global Pet Expo where Sun Pet was showing it. Barry Weisbrown with Sun Pet was kind enough to answer all of my questions, so I had to ask him, is this rumor true about the mantis shrimp being able to break the aquarium glass? And then I asked him, well, what happens if one of these things gets a hold of your finger? They've been known to break glass with the sonic boom they create, yes. Well, it would definitely hurt. It's not, it's not life-threatening, but um, they do have very strong claws for grasping prey. They're also lightning fast, so um, they're, they're not going to attack you thinking it's you, but they might, if they're used to being fed, they might take a pop at you thinking you're something to eat. They are. They, they are an animal that they can create a sonic boom through um, the speed of their claws. They actually compress a small air bubble, which creates a sonic boom, so you'll hear a very distinct loud popping sound when you have them. Um, they do that both to shock and they startle prey and shock prey. Um, so they can then grab it and eat it, and they'll also just do it occasionally, just that seems like just for the fun of it. As you might expect, you can't keep anything else with a mantis shrimp, maybe a starfish or something, but pretty much anything else becomes dinner. But keeping a mantis only tank is not a bad option. You can't keep fish with it. Um, you can keep them with starfish and anemones, things that they would not consider a prey item, but any, any, um, shrimp or crabs or other or fish they're going to eat. They're a, they're a great animal for by themselves. They do they develop a lot of personality. They recognize their owner. They recognize, you know, that they're going to get fed. They almost beg for food, um, get excited to see you when they think they're going to get something to eat. Um, they build they're very active. They build burrows in the tank and pop out one side and then pop out the other. Um, they're a lot of fun to watch. Uh, that's a zebra mantis, which is not the most colorful, but they do have a lot of personality. Um, the, there's a peacock mantis, which is a much more colorful, more beautiful animal that tends to be a little more shy, but again, they also make very good pets from a personality standpoint once they adapt to your tank. Um, I would keep it probably in 30 gallons or more. Um, you can keep them in a smaller tank, but the, the more room, the better for, to see their natural behavior. Mantis shrimp are pretty common in the trade, and many wholesalers stock them, though you might not find one in the local fish store. I suspect all you have to do is ask, and they can order it for you. I remember when I owned the local aquarium reef shop, these things were always on the list from my wholesalers, so it wasn't difficult to find them, and they're not particularly expensive. So if you're looking for a pet with a little bit of a reputation, well, the mantis is a good option. Remember here at FinCasters, the channel is kind of like an aquarium magazine, so click around and I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you like. Lots of topics on both fresh and salt water. That's all for this FinCast. Winnie, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Winnie. That's a good girl. We'll see you in the next FinCast.